by far and away the biggest factor in terms of this mass extinction is destroying natural habitat or converting natural habitat into land for food. The more dependent we are on meat, milk, and eggs, the greater the CO2 and methane emissions. Cattle and ruminants of all kinds produce methane as a byproduct of breaking down grass and other things that they feed on. So the contractions are pushing this gas out from the stomach going through here in the one-way valve. Yes, and into after the bag. this, we collect inside the bag. So how long has that bag been collecting gas? For? Only two hours. Methane is something like 22 times more potent as a climate changing gas than is CO2. So it doesn't take very much methane to make a difference. A cow can basically fill up a 55 gallon garbage bag full of methane every day. One cow is not a problem, but now we have 1.5 billion of them. And it's an incredibly inefficient way of producing food. Three quarters of agricultural land is used just to feed livestock. When you factor in everything, the clearing of the land for grazing, feeding, transporting, livestock causes more greenhouse gases than all the direct emissions from the entire transportation sector. I don't think it's a competition between these problems. I don't think one could be put above the other. It's like saying, well, is global warming worse than, than ocean acidification, or is, is fishing all the big fish in the sea worse than than polluting it. And I think it'd be foolish to try and single out any one of them to say, this is how we're gonna fix the planet's problems. We need to fight them on all fronts.